Hi guys, brand new set of magazines from Abram Squad. Let's flick through the pages. Okay, let's start off with Abram Squad. This is edition number 28. Straight on the cover, we can see a Ganeth. usual editorial and these are the features the SA4 the T55 a KM900 and also the usual features turret basket and the remote thermal sight so the command display unit is as always a um, review of recent releases see quite a few of uh, def models bits and pieces First article is on the Shot Cal Gamel FV Club Kit. Full instruction steps showing how it builds up. I mean, basically got a naked build there, just telling you how how the kit builds up, giving you the tips and features. And this is the first feature: the Krog or Ganeth. It's 135th scale kit. And this modeler has gone to extremes. I think he's added on a lot of extra detail sets. Fully illustrated the weathering steps and painting. Let's just go through that. And we've got Lucas. He has got a diorama of a T55 in Syria looks amazing basically by the way it looks absolutely amazing look at the amount of detail work that's gone at this t55 it's got a full set of what he has used uh which can be quite handy of course um for anybody else who wants to try and take on a project like this look at the amount of work that's gone into there especially with this um photo etch set for the uh armor the rpg armor screen of course as usual all the weathering steps fully explained and the finished item is spectacular let's move through that and okay so something a little bit different this is um a death model so it's the uh, aftermarket uh, company and it's by young Wu park i think i'll be meeting him shortly but we're gonna come up with that later on um, so Death Model have produced the indigenous armoured vehicle from Korea called a KM900. So I've never seen that before. Um, obviously something a little bit different. Looks really quite a good kit to be honest. Full explanation of the build. Really nice photos, illustrations and a little bit of a diorama base there. And the next feature is the 48 scale. M1, A2, Abrams, of course, the Abrams squad, we need an Abrams inside there. Uh, but let's see who the mother is. It's Byung Su Kim. So, let's see if there's anything. Right, okay, mainly an illustration, I think, colour modulation, quite well illustrated. Really nice photographs, a bit of forum. This uh, is a follow on from Forum Army 2018, uh, sorry, 2017. This is the reference book that was produced by Evan Squad. And it seems to have a few more vehicles like T90M, T90MS, T80 BVM, never heard of that. The Armata, really good photo here of the Armata without the, uh, with some of the skirt armor removed, showing this arrangement here and the exhaust. Quite interesting. So, move on quickly and. This is a special edition. It's the Bunderswear special edition. So we're looking at modern German armor. And uh, let's have a look at the articles that are inside this, this one. So it follows on. It really follows on really quite well. Uh, Complements um, the special edition of the Fennec and Celtic Storm 2017. That's a reference volume uh full of bonders equipment and we're going to see a fennec 
uh, actual vehicles in Afghanistan, uh, TACOM, um, VW Boss, Leopard 2A4, a Jeppard Mars, Puma, so much stuff. Let's have a look, uh, let's start off with this. We've got Mernhard Rain here's Boxer, which is quite a new vehicle that's used by the uh, Bundeswehr. Explanation of the Revell, I think it's a Revell kit. For explanation, shows you probably how he's going to create the anti slip texture. Really nice illustration of the weathering of the wheels. And uh, I nearly mistook that for the real vehicle. Stunning, really, really nice details on that build. And the references that go alongside it. And Jorge Lopez, who I've had the pleasure to meet, has done a dingo. He's done the Revell dingo. And look at this uh, scheme, this um, really nice camo. I, it caught my eyes immediately, the painting. And he's achieved it there. He's, he's telling you how he's achieved this camouflage. Using, I think it looks like Mr. Color, Mr. Hobby paint. So, really excellent job. The weathering is absolutely stunning to be honest and it just shows you i mean there's a lot of uh, critique about certain kits but that's a revel kit and look at the end results and references to accompany it so um, getting the full thing got sven sven has reproduced to me as leopard 2a6 in a full braking motion isn't that dramatic have a look on YouTube. There's a really good uh, video showing the Leopard with its uh, at full max speed and then it hits the anchors and he's, he's captured it really. It's difficult to portray anything dynamic in static modeling, but uh, this is really unique. So he's going to show you how he does all that, adjusting the suspension, of course, the weather and painting steps, etc. Excellent illustration, and we've got references to accompany it. And my friend Thomas Berza, and I have had the pleasure to see this model myself with my own eyes. I think it was in Molson that uh, I saw this model of um, Thomas, and I, I think I'm sure he was awarded a prize actually for this particular build, which is uh, the Panzer Halbitz 2000, which is the Bundeswehr self propelled gun, their artillery. And he's got, again, full illustration of all the details. I think he used the main kit. And there's a little nifty. It was on a dial. It was on a diorama base when I saw this kit at Mosin. Added the figure on the barrel. Looks pretty neat. And again, references to accompany it. Uh, Gonawa. Gonawa. Uh, met him as well. So it's really great to see my friends in, in this magazine, of course. And he has done the Mars, which is basically the uh, rocket artillery system used by the Bundeswehr. Must be a Trump tier kit, I'm guessing. Look at that scheme. Absolutely stunning. Again, illustration of every step of weathering. And how he's recreated the base. And references again to accompany it. And my friend Igor, Igor Moibrat, Igor Gorichkin has also, he's a superb figure painter from Russia, of course. And I uh, had a pleasure to meet him in Holland, I think, last time at the Scale uh, Model Challenge. And he is illustrating how to paint uh, the Flecton camo, so it's, it's, which is very difficult to, uh, to achieve in miniature, of course. But there's a full illustration of how that's achieved which is going to really help um, somebody who wants them to take this uh, cam on their own figures for the Bundeswehr people. And then we've got a, a quick pricey on the very um, uh, various kits that are available, you know, and and all the, the uh, current Bundeswehr in in inventory. So that's a special, special edition. Recommended, of course. And now we'll move on to the Specialist Magazine Diorama Mag Volume 2. So I did Volume 1. Uh, have a look at the video. I've got to flip through the pages there. And Sven uh, is actually the editor for this. And I don't 
think, yeah, I haven't done much of the uh, copy editing on this, but we're going to see some classics. It's got John Rosengrant with the classics. I really like the format of this magazine, the way that they start off with classic dioramas. If you can remember in uh, Volume 1, I think we had Shepard Payne and Verlinden. So, uh, I mean, really, they do hold their own today because of the... The level of skill and detail, it's capturing the story, excellent. Really good to see that. And uh, straight away we've got a layout of after, uh, not aftermarket, small cottage industry that supports dioramics really. Um, like Matho Models, I've used their stuff before. And uh, it's really good to see that because I mean, sometimes it's quite difficult to find this um, these accessories. It's quite nice to see them now, this looks really interesting. Uh, which is, uh, I'm sure this is laser cut um, architectural stuff. But have a look. Excellent article here. I did have a look through this. Jose Brito, of course, uh, famous Spanish modeler, uh, is illustrating how to use balsa foam. Balsa foam is a medium that a lot of guys are using. Look at the amount of detail that can be rendered from what started off as a basic sheet. And he's showing you how that is done and i have to actually apologize jose is a portuguese module model i'll say that straight away to uh remove that confusion this is really excellent he's rendered the entire scene using uh, balsa foam and uh tips on which carbon tools you use jean de rama we see a showcase of his work okay and then we've got a mig 29 diorama Marion Van Gils, I have seen this. It is absolutely stunning. It is really good to see dioramas that you may have come across at the premier European shows and you actually get a breakdown of how they were achieved. Bernhard Lustig, of course, famous modeler as well, with his portrayal of a... Oh, gosh. Right, uh, Jagdpanzer IV, thank you. Yep superb and again how to achieve this remember with diora with dioramas where a lot of the buildings etc are scratch built so if you're interested in that this is really a superb magazine to allow you to see how that can be created you know it's giving you the tips on on how to create it and here's another uh, showcase really nice features how to do shattered glass which is i mean a question I, I don't know how to achieve it but you've got a full illustration japanese masters portfolio ivan cocker hello ivan <laughs> it's really great to see my friends in these magazines i must say um i believe this was at euro Militaire many years ago arbeit macht free which is this illustration of the Prague Uprising uh, in 1945. Uh, I remember seeing that diorama, fantastic. And of course, we've got the concept, how it was achieved, etc. Uh, Johan Follen, this this guy, he, he does amazing work. So it really does. This this is such a famous diorama. Again, a Euro Militaire favorite of mine. Um, and we've got Andrew Argent. Andrew Argent specialises in producing foliage, really. He's, uh, he's a bit of a master at that. And uh, I really like seeing this. This is, obviously, it's not a military subject. We've got this um, elf elfin figure, I think, or a fairy, uh, which, is, which is really interesting. And then we've got all these different effects, how to create spider webs how the foliage is built up etc so really great explanations because i mean to, to produce all this it's a it seems a bit of a black art but andrew is illustrating all that for us so um, really excellent to see that and of course there's the figure painting techniques as well illustrated so that's quick and uh, let's not forget robert uh, who is a, a, a amazing german master uh you know well recognized with um Okay, so there's a quick look through. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a look at Plot Editions for all those magazines, and I'm selling them as well. So, hope you enjoy.